Now that we know what our objective function is, it's time to look for the constraints on the problem. And so here's what we're looking at. Again, farmer owning 240 acres is the same problem, but here we're going to write our constraints. And so there's a couple of things that get in our way. And the first is we're told right off the get-go that we only have 240 acres. So the acres of corn plus the acres of soybean has to be less than or equal to 240. There's just no ifs, ands, or buts about that. We're also told that we only have a total of 320 hours of labor. So this was our acres, but we also have limited labor. Something's got to be less than or equal to 320. But we got to look for here because corn takes two hours of labor and soybean takes one hour of labor. So the corn again is the x, so that gives me a 2x plus y, and that's going to be less than or equal to, th to 320. Now there's two more constraints. We cannot grow negative or produce negative amounts of corn or negative amounts of soybeans, so x is going to have to be greater than or equal to zero, and y is going to have to be greater than or equal to zero. So these are just our real world pieces, but this becomes our system of constraints.